In this movie, I would like to explain how to cut open the back of a horse mackerel, which is called Nimae Biraki in Japanese. At the working site, when preparing the horse mackerel, this is the method generally used. Please imagine the aji furai, which is a deep fried horse mackerel. First of all, remove well the part called zeigo, and then scale it off with the edge of the knife from the tail toward the head as if you were caressing it. Do the same thing to the upper fillet, which is called uwami in Japanese. Remove the zeigo, then the scales, and cut off the head. For more information, please check the video titled How to Cut Off the Horse Mackerel's Head. Unlike the three-piece fillet method, you don't cut off the belly part, but you scrape out the guts with the tip of the knife. Remove the guts and the dark flesh by running water or salted water. Wipe the fish and let's start cutting open the back. Place the tail at the lower left and make a 1mm incision on the upper fillet's back side. At the second cut, adjust the shinogi angle of the knife on the backbone and fillet until the spinal cord. By holding the belly with your fingertips, you can lift up the filleted part and you can fillet the connecting part of the spinal cord and the rib bones. Change the knife angle to a steep angle detach the spinal cord part and slide the knife on the backbone keeping the shinogi angle and fillet until the tail. At this time the tip is to fillet the belly part just leaving the skin. Flip the flesh and let's fillet the lower fillet. Place the tail at the upper right and make an incision of 1 mm at the base of the dorsal fin. When you fillet it until the head Keep filleting until the spinal cord. When the edge of the knife touches the spinal cord, get over the roundness of the spinal cord and detach the rib bones. Here the tip is to stabilize the shinogi on the backbone. Hold firmly the fish with your left hand finger cushion. Slide the knife on the top of the backbone until the tail with the edge of the knife. When you incise until the base of the tail fin, Change the knife angle to 90 degrees and with the tip of it, cut the edge and using the curve of the knife, cut off the bone until its base. Place the tail on the right and with your left hand middle finger or third finger, push out the tail fin. At this time, hold with the edge of the knife, the tail fin part which comes out to the edge and pull the horse macro to the left. In such a manner, the bones of the tail fin are removed and it eases the removal of the rib bones which is the next step. Detach the rib bones as if you were scooping them up, change the horse mackerel direction and remove the opposite rib bones. If the tail fin remains, the rib bones are difficult to detach. Cut off the tail and it's ready. Remove pin bones from the head toward the tail. From here, the process is the same as the other pre-treatments. Sprinkle salt on the both sides, leave it for about 5 minutes, and when water comes out on the surface, rinse it off by running water. Adding a little vinegar when washing it will remove the sliminess of the surface. Drain off the water and the horse mackerel back opening is done. If you would like to know further, how to cut off the head, how to cut into three pieces, how to fill it for the whole fish sashimi, how to display the whole fish sashimi, how to make the nigiri, how to make namero, please see the other movies. Thank you for watching it.